Whoa. Spitting out words, words that return void, like insufficient funds. Are you willing to sacrifice a little long suffering, endure a little pain before the rain? The love in your mind that can change with any new philosophy presented to it. Thus, if I had to choose a place to dwell, it would be in your mind. It wouldn't be in your mind or that soulish part of you, because that soulish part of you moves with the wind. It bends with a feeling, and if the wind blows hard enough, it breaks. No, I'd rather be left hanging by a thread as a thought in your mind. No, I am not that love you cannot bind. Um, that comes back to haunt you without your permission. And I'll say it again. No, I am that love that you cannot bind. That comes back to haunt you without your permission. I am that love so deep down in your heart that you can't forget even if you wanted to because I'm tied to you like the father and the son. We are one. You see, you can't go against the convictions in your heart. You can't live with yourself or act based on your natural understanding. I'm not of that nature, but of the things of the spirit. You're caught up into that state of euphoria, feeling nothing to a point of feeling good. Don't be disillusioned. I'm not, I am not just an imagination in your head. Let me be your source of life instead. When you're done riding your emotional roller coaster, answer me this one question. Mm. Am I the love in your heart or the love in your head? Yeah! Whoa! Hallelujah.